Humankind is a research collaboration between Cork Abbey, which is a National Trust property, and the Research Centre for Museums and Galleries at the University of Leicester. We were approached by Cork to think with Cork about their desire to do some work in the area of social isolation and loneliness. So as part of the project we've done lots of research, we took a team of a mix of academics, staff from Cork and volunteers into the archive and we worked together and unearthed lots and lots of new, really interesting material. Down the generations at Cork, historians have talked about this family, the Harper Crews, as an incredibly isolated, socially disconnected family who at times were not particularly kind to one another, never mind to other people. And actually what we found when we lifted the lid on the archive was ordinary family life, very privileged family life, but nonetheless ordinary family life. And actually the real felt moments of loneliness and isolation, often triggered just as they are for the rest of us by moments of transition in our lives or something traumatic that had happened to them. And time and again across all of those stories, their way out of that difficulty was through the kindness and care of other people. And we wanted to share that common nature of those stories. Universities are full of incredible academics doing incredible research and actually a project like this is a way for that research to find its way out of the university and into a context where combined with lots of other kinds of expertise it can have real power and real effects. So my role has been just really listening and collecting as we went through the information to then transform that information into the installations that are currently here in the apartments. We wanted something for everybody. So whether you've just come in to walk the dog, you would see the metal rooms outside. Whether you actually spent time in the house, you'd have a different experience. And then if you just came for a cup of tea, there's another experience. So we wanted to reach everybody, to include as many people as possible. I've never worked on anything as big as this, or as in-depth, or as highly collaborative. And um, the richness of the experience that has been created by everyone, I couldn't have done that on my own. It has been the nature of the beast is the collaboration of gardeners, carpenters, academics, loads and loads of people has created what we see today and it's so appropriate because it's humankind. It's been really exciting to watch the ways, the very different ways in which visitors have responded to humankind because it's quite a surprising kind of experience, it's not your usual country house experience. We've loved watching families picnic in the landscape rooms. We've loved hearing the conversations that the exhibition and that the pledge wall has opened up. So getting people talking about the issue and thinking about how they can make small gestures, small acts of kindness that tackle the issue today. We've been working with people around the issues of um, isolation and loneliness, um, particularly with community groups. So we found that loneliness doesn't discriminate, it affects everyone, but there are particular groups or individuals who are more at risk. And this really revolves around life transitions or changes that happen in people's lives. So we've been actively doing research in the region and locally to find different organisations that are working to support these individuals and these groups um, to help them avoid becoming lonely. My hopes are that the community groups that are involved in this um, will take away a sense of being welcome, of feeling as if Cork belongs to them as much as it belongs to anybody else. Well, this exhibition taps into that current trend. There's growing interest in the role that heritage sites and museums and galleries in general, how they can harness their unique resources to tackle contemporary social issues such as isolation and loneliness. So what we've done here is use the site's rich history, but in order to prompt reflection, encourage visitors to think differently and to take action to prevent loneliness. 
staff and volunteers here um, have been involved in the project right from the beginning. So when we started to work with the University of Leicester, we had lots of workshops and meetings where we discussed the ideas that we might have come up with. We discussed the project and how that felt in terms of a contemporary issue of isolation and loneliness. And we want to welcome more people. We want to make us seem relevant to more people and make everybody welcome at our properties. It's really important that the university is involved in projects like this because collaboration with the National Trust gives us an opportunity to take some of the research we've been doing within the university and explore how that plays out in the real world. 